So this is a game that's very early in development, but is still really freaking awesome. It is Derpy Delivery. It is made by Eric Soma, I believe. Known as Grit on forums and stuff. Um, that's basically all the contact info I found on his... Uh, I'll post the website that I got it from. This is version 0 0.02. So there are lots of glitches and it crashes on me half the time. But it is still awesome. And this, this title screen music is awesome. He did say he needs music, so if you can do music, definitely go to his website and help him out. I think this is the only music track in the entire game, actually. But, this is Derpy Delivery, and it is about a very special delivery pony named Derpy. And she's, like, you know, she's the one on the screen there. And she's just amazingly happy. I love the title screen. So, one day, a very creepy-looking pony with a 5 o'clock shadow was flying drunkenly. How do ponies get a five o'clock shadow? You have fur. How does that how does that work? That, never mind. I don't want to know. But Derpy was blowing bubbles, and what appears to be a bong was in the background. And Derpy's like WTF mate. She very slowly opens the door. Oh I love the backwards door. That is that is awesome. Uh oh. Morning, Derpy. Letters! Yay. You better get that mail you scared her before the wind picks it up. Stupid backwards doors. Yay! And she is a pegasus if you did not notice. Which means she has wings and is a horse. Bring back all the letters you can find to me up here. I'm sure they couldn't have gone too far. Well, no, paper doesn't tend to go very far without wind assistance. You remember how to pick things up, right? Just use X, okay? Like, Derpy would forget how to pick up things. You press Z to pick up things, right? Derpy's Treehouse, episode 1. Also, physics! We can't move this guy, but you can bump into him. Birds! Birds! I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Oh, I'm not, not birds. Bird, you have a letter! Give me that! Give me that! Yes! I stole bird letter. Oh, and you can throw things. Check this out. Physics! Oh, physics. I love you. Physics. Physics! Physics. Okay, that's enough physics for now. Hey, oh. I, I threw to you. That was a good throw. You just did not catch it. You were the worst catcher in the world. Okay, that was a bad throw. Okay. There we go. Nope. Nope, not quite. There. Bit. There we go. There you go. Yes, note there is absolutely no music beyond this point. Um, a nice, a really nice touch is that, if you notice... Her eyes go in different directions when you turn. Which, you know, is necessary for the character, but... It means they didn't just flip over the sprite for when you turn. Which is always a nice touch. Whee! And this is a very physics-based game, if you didn't notice. Stage 1 complete. Oh. Well, we completed it in zero seconds. That's a pretty good time, actually. It took me long enough. I took... I took zero seconds. I couldn't have possibly taken any less time. Pfft. <sighs> Too busy playing with birds. Yes, I was. I was busy playing with birds, and then you came and bumped into my house. No, no, wait. I hate you with the door. Whatever. We're behind schedule. Well, your face is behind schedule. We're going to the post office. The lack of music, kind of like. Er. But yeah, if you can do music, definitely help this guy out, because this game needs to be even more awesome than it already is, and music will help. So the mailbag landed in Ponyville somehow. How did the mailbag go farther than the letters? Whatever. We're turning over the whole town. We can't be losing any more mail. I totally changed this guy's voice. While you're at it, see if you can deliver these letters you picked up earlier. I can multitask. I can multitask so hard I'll muffins. What were we talking about? Look for ponies that were expecting mail and press Z. Well, okie dokie then. What does he have on his... What's his, like, mark on his butt there? Ponies always have marks on their butts. I'm not I'm not particularly sure why. Ponyville, stage two. Find the mailbag. Bonus. Deliver three letters. No more. No less. Flowers. Look at these flowers. Look how pretty these flowers are. Look at look at how pretty these flowers are, pink pony. Look how amazing these flowers are. Hey, wait. Where did the flowers go? 
Give me back the flowers, pink pony. I got my eye on you. Only one, though. Only one. Either Derpy is illiterate, or these are some very weird symbols on this clock here. Dr. Hooves! I have a letter for you, I think. There you go, Dr. Hooves. Can I get your autograph? Can I, can I, can I? Oop. Sorry, Dr. Hooves. Well, I seem to have killed you. Oops. But I got my letter back. That's what's important, right? I thought it'd be funnier if he, like, continues to twitch just a little bit after he hits the ground. I don't think we can actually do anything with this letter. Hey, it's the mayor. Here, have, uh, have another letter. And have a third, I mean second, letter. Raw throw. Yeah, you can't do anything like that. Oh, one thing I noticed... Ah, uh, no, it's not going to do it to me. I could go under the ground here before. I'm not sure why. The physics are still a little wonky. And you can go in buildings, like, kind of intuitively. Like, this is a door. You can go in the door. Table. I'm still your table. But you can also go in here. It's not always completely apparent where doors will be. It's mostly pretty intuitive. Hello, Mr. Uh, waiter, Pony, or whatever the hell you are. Have some tables. Oh, wait, no, I stole your tables. Whatever. The mayor could have the table. Whoa! Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, okay. I think I'm back in the world now. N no, no, over... No, ah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that is the first major glitch that I noticed. Aside from the crouching thing. Hey, letter. Hey, it's the classroom. Hey, whoa. That's another thing. Sometimes I'll accidentally exit. No, in. Stay in. Yes. Everybody have a letter. Oh, oh, oh. You're gonna look all shocked. You've never seen a Pegasus fly in through the window and smash around a bunch of tables to hand your teacher a letter? I see that five times a day. <laughs> and the fainting pony. It's always a nice touch. Hey, Bill of Spoke coming out of the chimney. That seems perfectly normal. Let's just ignore that house. There's obviously nothing important about that house. Whoa, I'm inside of a building. Hey, apples. Apples are delicious. Give me these, give me some apples. Where'd the apples go? Give me apples. You're all you're all frickin' stomping your feet like you're pissed off. You're the one that doesn't have any apples, you jerk. Hey, ladies, what's going on? Hey, some tasty food here. That food is delicious. Why are you crying? Your food is delicious. Oh, well. Some people are just frickin' crybabies. Or cryponies. Why are your... Why does your attic have precariously stacked boxes? Why? Inquiring minds want to know. What is in your chimney? This seems like a brilliant idea. Let's just sit in this chimney. It's the mailbag! Okay, this is something I found kind of awkward. The stomping on the mailbag. Okay, okay. For obvious reasons. There we go. It only takes a few stomps, but it's actually kind of hard to move straight up and down like that. And one thing I noticed... You know, doing all of the fun things, like crushing the flowers and knocking Dr. Hooves off the um, clock tower, those subtract points. So, you know, it's not the biggest problem, but, you know, it's stuff you want to do, so I'd rather get points for it if... But I guess it makes less of a challenge. It depends on where the game goes. I'm not 100% sure how all of the missions and stuff will work out. So we are in the Twilight Zone. It's a pun. I love puns. Puns are delicious. And yeah, this basically means there's no more game after here. And there's so much blonde pony everywhere, it's giving me kind of a headache. And look, we can move around boxes. Boxes. I'm going to deliver this box to the top of the screen. Yep, no, no. You are being delivered, sir. No. I, I say, I say. Monocle. Yes, I delivered you, box. That counts. I delivered. Derpy always delivers. Because this is Derpy delivery. I could have made a much better joke, but I wasn't thinking about it. Anyway, this is an awesome game, and you'll the link will be in the description. This is all there is so far, but you should keep waiting and email the, the developer and tell them that he is completely awesome, and that you should that he should complete his game, and you should help him out in any way you possibly can. This is awesome, and the world needs Derpy Delivery. If we had a completed version of Derpy Delivery, there would be no turmoil in the Middle East. It's a, it's a known fact. It's, it's on Wikipedia. I did not add it. That is a lie, sir. 
But that's about all I have to say. There's also a menu. I have not shown it to you. It's not very interesting. Whoa. Uh oh. The menu stays on. That's trippy. But Okay. So we can... Whoa. Okay. X selects. That's useless. And Z goes back. Save settings. What settings? Oh, you can con save your controly thingies here. Detect peripherals. I don't even know what that... Oh, hey, it detected my uh, Wiimote, even though it's not connected. Preferences. <laughs> it's Scratch. That is awesome. There we go. That I did not know that was there. That is so awesome. Okay. But yeah, this game is awesome, and you should like it. If you don't like it... You can you can just punch yourself in the face until you pass out. That's all I have to say. <laughs>